Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now this video is going to be fairly quick and I just want to put this out there because um, I didn't really find like you know a definitive guide for some reason so uh, what we're doing today is we're going to make uh, VirtualBox run properly under Windows 10 or like in Windows 11 now <laughs> so for example if I fire up this VM here um, if VirtualBox isn't working properly for you at the bottom here you see there's like a tiny V here now if it's working properly can see you should see that nested paging is active under streak that execution is active execution cap is 100 and it should be like a blue V if it's not working properly it will be like a green turtle uh, which means like your uh, virtual box is gonna be running very very slow and so what this is is a problem with uh, Windows Hyper-V kind of stuff so first thing that you want to do is you want to search for uh, Windows, yeah, so Windows features and just get into here. And in here, what you want to do is you want to disable containers, you want to disable Hyper-V, you want to disable Uh, virtual machine platform, Windows hypervisor platform, uh, Windows sandbox, and Windows subsystem for Linux. So you want to disable like everything that has to do with uh, networking. Then after you disable those, click OK, and Windows can like show up some dialog. And then after that's done, you, what you want to do is you want to restart your PC. After you restart your PC, what you want to do is you want to type in CMD and then click here to run as PowerShell or to run as a admin. So this will come up. And then what you want to do is you want to run this here. So type this out exactly. And then after you press enter, it'll say like operation uh, success or something like that. And then what you want to do is reboot your uh, PC again and then you can try seeing if uh, virtu virtual box runs properly now so if you s if you don't have the green uh, turtle here uh, if you do still have it then what you want to do is you want to go into uh, core isolation so just type that in then you'll see that it's in uh, Windows kind of settings so what you want to do is go in here and then turn this off and after that you want to reboot the PC again and you should finally have um, VirtualBox running properly under Windows. So as you can see this will be like if I get in here it's like you know really fast really smooth. Uh, it's like working you know properly now so all this stuff like loads up fairly quick except for system monitor for some reason <laughs> well we can just run htop all right there we go don't know why that took so long but like it's usually fine. I think I just need to remake this VM, but anyway, oops. Yeah, so there you go. Everything's like, you know, running smoothly, you know. Resources, everything is good. And so, yeah, that's uh, like a nice, quick and easy way to get a uh, hyper or, or to get the virtual box thing running. Um, you can also use Hyper-V, so for example, if I just close this VM here, in the settings, 
inside acceleration we can actually use hyper vm still <laughs> like for the vm itself which is you know pretty cool um, let's say it'll be like a little bit faster here uh, if you're on Linux, if like your host OS is on Linux, you probably want to use KVM, but uh, whatever, Linux doesn't have this stupid issue where you can't literally use VirtualBox, like fucking hell. Windows is so bad, but whatever. That's how it is. <laughs> All right. See you later, boys.